Does it make any sense to spend more money on a bigger 3-fan version of the RTX 5060 or is the cheaper, more compact 2-fan version enough? Let's find out. To compare the two, we'll take a look at their gaming performance, noise, GPU temperature and design. Probably the most profound difference is in their size. Just take a look at that. I'll put the MSI Shadow 2X on top of the Asus Tough Gaming so that you can see. Yes, a huge difference in terms of length as well as in terms of thickness. This two fan GPU is two slots thick while the three fan version is yeah it's three slots thick huge difference and the three fan version is taller too so it's not just the length so you have to really consider your PC case size if you have a compact PC case then the three fan version might not fit let's just take some measurements to grasp the difference between the two this one is 100 and 97 yes 197 millimeters long while the three fan version is about 303 millimeters long in terms of height let's just quickly take these PCIe slot covers off it's 119 millimeters for the MSI Shadow 2X and the Tough Gaming is 134 millimeters tall. In terms of display connectivity, there is no difference. They both feature four total connections, in this case, three display ports and one HDMI each. The power connections are the same too. Same 8-pin power connector is used. But this more expensive model has two BIOS modes. Performance mode and quiet mode. You can switch between the two and we'll definitely test the difference in this video. While the cheaper cards, they usually come with just one BIOS, no switch. Another big difference is in the visuals and materials. Even the plastic shroud on the three fan version, which is more expensive, feels and looks much better. And it has some metal over here. While the two fan version is very simple and the plastic feels quite cheap. Yeah. Another thing is the backplate. This one is plastic. Well, this one is metal. Benefits of a metal backplate are not massive for this kind of low power GPU because, yeah, while it is important to keep the heat away from the PCB and the GPU area, it's uh, not a massive problem for such a low power GPU. Obviously, metal conducts heat much better than plastic does. Plastic pretty much traps the heat over there in that small gap. So yeah, it can be an issue for some higher power GPUs, but with the 5060, it's not a big deal. Now the most important part, how do these GPUs compare in gaming? Let's start with the three fan version of the Tough Gaming Asus 5060 set to the performance mode then we'll take a look at the quiet mode as well but i just want to say that even though this gpu is quite large it doesn't need any gpu support brackets or holders it is fine as is because it is fairly light compared to some of the other bigger models that are heavy and that's when sagging becomes a problem with this one no issues you can leave it without support 
The room temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. That is 72 degrees, well, 72 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. And the GPU performance is at 64 FPS. We're consuming about 145 watts. The GPU temperature is hovering around 56 degrees Celsius. The GPU core clock is at 27.45 megahertz, sometimes jumping to 27.52 megahertz. The fan speed is at 49 percent, that is 1430 rpm. As for the noise, let's take a listen using this wireless microphone. To my ears, there is no noise to report, because the GPU is pretty much in line with the rest of the fans in this system in terms of noise, and these are high quality, be quiet, silent fans. As a result, the noise is very subtle. If you're like me and you are playing your games using speakers instead of headphones, and your PC is sitting right there next to you, like in this case right here, then this GPU, no issues. It is pretty quiet in the performance mode. Now let's switch to the quiet mode. Just flick that over to the right side. Yeah, there we go. It is set to the quiet mode now. The room temperature is roughly the same. 22.5 degrees Celsius, 72.5 Fahrenheit, but the GPU behavior changed. Now we have 63 to 64 FPS, so it's fluctuating now. The GPU power is at the same value, about 145 watts. The GPU temperature is quite a bit higher. It's hovering at around 63 degrees and the GPU core clock is slightly lower at 2737 megahertz. The most significant difference is in the fan speed. Take a look at that. 33%. That's 830 RPM. It's time to listen to the noise that uh, the graphics card makes in the quiet mode. Now that I'm specifically listening for any noise, I can tell that, yes, in the quiet mode, this graphics card is quieter. But the fact that I could barely hear it in the performance mode just speaks volumes. There is pretty much no difference. You will not notice it in normal day-to-day -day activities unless you are in a very hot room with uh, the fans spinning much faster than maybe. That said, trading just one FPS of gaming performance for a quieter experience, yeah, I think I'd do it. The quiet mode is the way to go. Just a quick side note, after running the tests on the tough gaming version, yes, it is quite warm. So the backplate indeed is doing a little bit of work in terms of dissipating heat. It helps. Now let's put the MSI Shadow 2X RTX 5060 in there. It looks so tiny in the PC compared to the tough gaming. The contrast is pretty huge. The room temperature is pretty much the same as before. 22.6 degrees Celsius or 70, well, almost 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So just a little bit hotter. The GPU behavior is quite a bit different. The performance has come down to 61 FPS, well, sometimes 62. The GPU power draw is at 140 watts instead of 145. 
the temperature is around 68 degrees. The core clock is at 26.32 megahertz and the fan is spinning at 52%, which is over 1850 RPM. Let's listen to the noise using the microphone. I can definitely hear the fans spinning louder than they were on the tough gaming version of the 5060, but then is it annoyingly loud? No, it is not. I could easily sit here and play my games using speakers and uh, that noise is not going to be a problem. I'll just forget about it existing very quickly. It's not an annoying sound at all. Alright, so what's the conclusion then? Really, I think that for the majority of users, two fan versions of the 5060 is good enough. The MSI Shadow 2X variant is not loud at all by any means. It gets the job done. And in terms of gaming performance, there's just three to four percent difference between the two it's nothing it's literally two fps difference that's not to say that the larger three fan versions don't have any place on the market they actually do for someone who's looking for a very quiet pc build or someone who lives in a very hot climate this might be the way to go but yeah that is a very niche product. A significant downside of the three fan GPUs is that they are usually much more expensive than the two fan versions that are smaller, use less materials, hence cheaper, you know? Yeah, I hope this helps. I hope I helped you make the right choice for you. If I did, don't forget to reward my work with a like. It helps me a lot. And if you are interested in any of the products featured in this video, you can find them on Amazon at the links in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.